What's up? This is EasyOS 10, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual machine with VirtualBox. Now, a virtual machine is basically one OS running in another OS. In my case, I'm going to set up Windows in OS 10. And VirtualBox is a great free program to do this. With it, I can set up Linux with some copy of Windows and even copies of Mac OS 10. But for my sake, I'm going to run Windows 7. So here, I'm going to type the name of my virtual machine. So I'm going to call it Windows 7 here. And then I'm going to set it to that as well. As you can see, I can set up Linux, Solaris, a bunch of different versions. Even going back to Windows 3.1 even. So now here's where I set how much RAM is going to be used by the machine. Of course, RAM is short for Random Access Memory. And by default, it says I'm going to set up 512. I'm going to bump that up to 2 gigs. And so this is saying when the machine is running, to use only a maximum of 2 gigs of my entire RAM on my Mac. Going to the next step, here it asks if I want to set up a brand new virtual disk or use an old one. Since this is a brand new setup, I'm going to create a new virtual disk. But if I was overwriting another virtual disk, say I had a copy of Vista I wanted to overwrite, I would use existing hard disk and then pick up from there. So, I'm going to go ahead and create this then. There we go. Now, this is what kind of virtual image I want to create. This is really for compatibility purposes if I decide to go to another um, virtualization program. So, for right now, I'm going to leave it as a VirtualBox disk image so it will only work with the VirtualBox program. But I can pick something else like, for example, HDD there at the bottom and let it run with, um, say, Parallels, which is another great virtualization program. But that's a paid version, and I like free, because I'm poor. Now this screen basically says, do I want the size of the disk image to change, which, which is dynamically allocated, or if I want to keep it at the same size? So I have a small amount of storage space on my Mac, but I don't know how much I'm going to be using out of the bat. So what I'm going to do is I'm personally going to say dynamically allocated. But if I knew exactly how much space I wanted to use, I would pick fixed size. So now this part is saying, uh, again, what you want to name it as and how much the minimum starting space for your virtual image, how much space it should take up on the disk. So I'm going to set to 22 gigabytes. And now this is just a quick summary of everything that I've done, where it's going to be saved in. And this is one more quick summary. And saying, hey, you can change any of these things in the settings menu of VirtualBox. But I already know I'm good with this. I'm going to hit create. But wait a minute, you may ask. What about, where's the actual image of Windows 7? In this case, I have the CD of, for Windows 7, the installation CD, in my disk. But you can download an ISO, say for Linux or Windows, um, from whatever company you're getting it from, and use that too. So with my machine, I'm going to hit Start. And this, all this is saying is that um, right now the virtual machine is going to use my keyboard instead of going to the Mac. And if I want to switch out of the uh, Windows 7 keyboard to the Mac, to hit the left command button, which is called the host button. And this is just saying, you know, welcome to your first new machine. Pick which installation media you want. Yeah, and so I'm telling it, where is the file of the operating system you want me to use? And so I'm going to say, use the CD in my CD drive. Now what this screen is basically saying is that, hey, once you turn off the virtual machine, it's going to eject the media um, so it doesn't try the boot up process again, but you may have to manually um, remove whatever media you're booting off of for the operating system. So I might have to remove my operating system disk from the CD drive so that it doesn't try to run Windows 7 setup again. But now we hit start and let VirtualBox begin. And so at this point, since it's a brand new machine, it's going to try to, let me see if I can maximize this real quick. There we are. And what it's going to do now is basically it's going to set up Windows. So we'll let that run. And once it's done, you will see that you have a full copy of Windows running within Mac. 
or Linux or whatever other operating system you're using. This has been EasyOS 10, and thank you for watching my videos.